Hello and welcome back one and all. So we are here today at Join Yoga to complete Kronar's quest, which is for the brand new class. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course leave the video with a like. So the Dragon of Time dropped yesterday and that means we can go along and get all the bits for it. And I'm going to try and go through this as quickly as I can, showing you the rooms you need to join and the monsters you need to kill. Or of course there's a few items we need to get from the shops. So we're going to crack on with the quests and some of them do get rather grindy. But they start a bit easier, which is always nice. So first of all, join Mummies and that is where you'll get your first quest item. You can join the Time Library for your Historia pages which drop from pretty much any monster in the area. Next up, you want to join Librarium, where you need to be a rank 4 Law Master, and then you can access the shop to buy the Myth of Law right there. So next up, join along to King Cole, and once you've defeated him a few times, you may very well get the drop from him. And that is the same at Join Bacon Cat U, where you defeat your mirrored self, and you will get your quest item. And that is the first quest complete. And so the next quest is also quite a quick one to complete, and I'll show you what you need to do. So first of all, join Dragon Challenge and defeat Desiloth, who will drop you the item that you need. As you can see, there is the destructive aura. Next up, join Greed, and again, you just defeat the boss dragon here, and that is how you will get your next item. These ones are pretty straightforward, as you literally only just need one of each item, so that makes life nice and simple. Next, join Dark Plane, and again, defeat the boss dragon that you can see me defeating in the background. So then we're heading along to join Triggerus, where you'll need to defeat his adult self, which is the one you kill, and then he transforms into another one, and that is where you'll get your drop. Bear in mind that fight resets each time. Join Blinding Snow and defeat Nerifia at the top of the little hill, and that is your second quest complete. Again, pretty straightforward that one, but don't be fooled, things start getting a bit more tricky soon. So join Evil War Null and defeat Larkin, and that is where you'll get your items. And the Mysterious Stranger, the final quest here, you'll see you can get the Golden Blade that you need, so you'll need to complete the full storyline for that one. Join Time Space and defeat Idoa, and there you go, yet another item. Next, you need to join Tech Fortress and complete the Forging of a Friendship quest. And as you can see, that is where you can pick your Pink Blade of Destruction. So if you do need any extra help with that, I'd recommend going on to the wiki. So then you come along to join Arena and defeat the hoverboarding, skateboarding people. That's what I call them. But you can see them there and they luckily drop items at more than times one. In fact, you can go up to times five. So that doesn't actually take too long. However, we are now on to the more tricky quests. So join a portal war and you'll want a group for this because these monsters do take a little while. But as you can see, periodically they will drop the items that you need. Join Portal Maze and defeat the Chrono Lords and they will drop you again the Chrono Lords stopped that you require. Join Cathedral, defeat the boss here for your quest item. Pretty straightforward again, all you're going to need to do next is join Uber and once you're there go along defeat the boss who will drop you what we need. And that is the next quest complete, easy as that. Now I did promise these were going to get a bit harder and I assure you they do. So, we're going to join Layer Defend, and you can just head along, defeat this boss in this room, and make sure you pick up two of the items before you disappear. Back to join Boss Challenge, and you've got another one to defeat here. The Dimensional Dragon Portal will drop from the enemy you saw. And lastly, but not least, is join Hydra Challenge. Make sure you're defeating the level 90 versions, and you'll need to get 125 of the drops from them. But once you've done that, you will have completed the next quest. So, moving on yet again. This time you're joining AQW 3D and once you're here you can just defeat the three enemies which are the floating weapons and they will drop you the items. You do need to farm quite a few. Join Ovolus and the boss here will actually give you the weapon that you need which is the Sword of the Voids. So next we're joining to join Guardian Tree. When you're here you need to accept this quest on screen. Go along, defeat the boss and once you have, make sure you turn that quest in and that will reward you the drop that you require. Similarly, we're doing a very similar thing here at Join White Hole. Just make sure you accept the quest that I did there and then head along, defeat the boss and it is the same principle. Turn in the previous quest and once you've done that, you will get the item that you need. Pretty straightforward, I guess. So join collection, go into the merge shop and you'll see collectible collector item that you need. Worth mentioning you do need some Darkon's receipts for that quest as well which you can get from join garden and accepting Darkon's quests. Anyway, moving on. 
So back to join boss challenge, this time defeating the mutated void dragon which you can see on screen. Then head along to join underlayer where you'll need to defeat the arch fiend dragon lord. Please note the drop rate on some of the upcoming items are not 100% guaranteed. Next up, join Chaos Kraken, literally just defeat the boss you can see, and that one will take a little bit of grinding. Next to join Tower of Doom 9, if you haven't completed the rest of the tower, you cannot go to in these maps, so you will need to go through and complete them all. Next is join Castle Roof, again you can just go along and defeat the boss, which you can see me doing on screen. Nice and straightforward, make sure it is the ultra version of course. And lastly, at join Moon Lab, just go along and defeat loads of slimes. You need to stack 300 of those and it's easier to go to a private room because otherwise people just one hit them all the time. And once you've done that, that is another quest complete. If you're lower levels, make sure you're putting an XP boost on when turning these quests in because the XP is well high. Next, join Volcano and get these fire essences. They drop from any of the monsters and you need to farm 3,000 of them. Yes, that takes a long time. Back to join Charred Plains and you can literally just defeat Aqualoth here and you need to get 100 of the items dropped from him. Next is join Ultra Phaedra. Again, this time we're only getting 50 of the items. This one does not seem to drop 100%, so it takes a little while. However, at Join the Void, this one is 100% drop rate. Just defeat the Reaper, and you'll eventually complete that quest. And that is all the items you need for that one. Now, don't be fooled. We've actually got another quest to go yet before we can get our hands on the new class, which you can see here on the screen. So for starters, you need to get a mysterious egg pet. You can, in order to open the chest on screen, you need to get the heptagonal chest, which is from Join Battle Under E, and the other requirements to opening it are going along and getting each of the keys from the seven deadly dragon bosses, so good luck with doing that. Next is Join Chaos Lord, where you can literally just defeat yet another one of your mirrored selves for the quest item. And then you can head along to join Tower of Doom 10. And yes, you're going to have to rinse and repeat this boss. And the most annoying thing about it is, it's not 100% drop rate. So that one will take a little while. However, you can finish at Ice Storm Arena. Sure to defeat Warlord Icewing and you'll eventually get the 30 items that you need. And once you've done that, you can finally head back to Kronar, turn that quest in and you will have the new class. So guys, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you give the video a like and of course subscribe. And I'll be back really, really soon to do a review on the new class and give you my thoughts on whether you should even attempt this farm. So until then, have a lovely day.